23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The American Civil Liberties Union Foundations of Southern and Northern California says it has filed a lawsuit in Fresno against the Kern County Superior Court over access to court proceedings. According to the ACLU, Kern County is not making court cases accessible to the public during the pandemic. Courts across the U.S. have provided video or audio feeds of court proceedings. The ACLU says Kern County has turned away people and has not provided options for remote access. 23 ABC reached out to the Superior Court for a comment. They say they do not comment on pending litigation. The court did say information on public access is available on its website. Studio Movie Grill officially reopening today. The theater is the first to open in Bakersfield. Following the announcement, the state was lifting the restrictions on movie theaters on June 12th. For the first night of reopening, the theater is offering the new horror film The Wretched for $5, and they're also offering a free screening of Just Mercy, starring Jamie Foxx and Michael B. Jordan. Theater service will look a bit different, as well as theaters are only allowed to operate at 25% capacity, according to state guidelines. And as a reminder, the special 4th of July concert by the Bakersfield Municipal Band will be broadcast on our air. Officials say social distancing measures were carefully put in place in order for 37 musicians to perform and record this special concert. You can watch it Saturday, July 4th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. on 23 ABC or on all of our other streaming platforms such as Roku, Apple TV and Alexa. And the good news in the forecast, cooler air is getting closer and closer to us. This is Sunday's forecast. You can see that's getting pretty close to Bakersfield. We're already starting to see the impacts of that cooler air by the time we get to Sunday. But in the short term, things are still looking hot. Heat advisory does remain in effect through the day Saturday, and it's actually looking like Saturday may be the hottest day of the forecast. In fact, in Bakersfield, tied for the hottest day of the year so far at 105 degrees, 105 in McFarland as well, 102 at Jawbone Canyon, 90 the high temperature in Tehachapi. A little bit breezy for Saturday. Day too, especially for our mountain and desert locations, about a 30 mile per hour breeze there in Mojave, up to about 10 to 15 miles per hour in Bakersfield. And then actually some stronger winds are in the forecast as we head into Sunday. It's going to be a pretty breezy day on Sunday as that cooler air starts to blow in off the Pacific. 92 degrees, your high temperature there, 83 on Monday, and then temperatures kind of steadily climb for the remainder of the forecast, ending up in the mid to upper 90s. For your seven day forecast for the mountain communities, 80s, 90s, even close to the triple digits for tomorrow. But by the time we get to Monday, temperatures have fallen into the 70s with some spots as cool as the 60s. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.